Welcome everyone to CBC News and today is a day that we decide what's gonna happen. I know right, it's, it's, it's tough, it's really tough. So let's begin with CBC News, let's get it. And today we have important news to give out. So let's begin. So. It comes a time where you have to agree with something you don't want to agree. But you must. It's either way. You say yes or you say no. Pick a side. And here it goes. Should abortion be in every state? In every state in America? Should abortion be allowed, actually? That's the question for today. No, more like, should abortion be allowed in every state? Honestly, if you want to know my opinion, I'd say abortion should be allowed. Because it's not your decision if you really want to kill someone that is unconscious of themselves. Knowing that they're here. See what I mean? But. Ohio. My bad, Iowa. I'm so sorry, Iowa. I'm so sorry. Ohio. I should get fired, huh? I should. I know I should get fired. But going back. Ohio. No. No. They, they, they told the uh, 11 uh, year old. They're like, no, I'm sorry. That's a new law we made for the state. Abortion is not allowed anymore. Sadly. <laughs> well, it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do. Now, should abortion be allowed? What do you guys think? Comment down below. What do you guys think? If should uh, abortion should be allowed? My opinion is yes. It should still be allowed. Because it's not really killing a person. It's more like deciding whether you want to or not. You know what I mean? Okay. Man admits he shot a green laser to famous football player Tom Brady. You guys got to check this out. Dwayne Morgan is now coming forward, admitting he's responsible. He's a huge fan of the team Brady was up against that day for the AFC Championship, the Kansas City Chiefs. Morgan had seats in the end zone that day with his three sons. He says after a few beers too many, he did something outrageous. He wanted to distract Brady with the laser. Morgan showed me just how he did it across our newsroom. We've got an image of Tom. Oh yeah, direct hit. You nailed it. But he should have known there's no stopping Tom Brady. Despite that laser, the Patriots went on to win the game and eventually the Super Bowl. Morgan, your old son Colton was in the stands with him. Were you trying to injure Tom Brady in any way? No. Maybe distract him. One week after the incident, police tracked him down and came knocking on his door. He was charged with a misdemeanor that reads, Disturbing the peace by shining a laser pointer in the direction of Tom Brady during a football game. Did you ever think? You could get caught and get I didn't in serious think trouble? It would, would go this far. I shouldn't have done it. What do Bostonians think of the guy who pointed a laser at their hometown hero? I think he's a clown. What do you got to say to this guy? Get a life. Morgan faces up to a year in jail or a fine of up to $1,000. He regrets the embarrassment it brought to Chiefs fans, but stops short of apologizing to Brady. You're not apologizing to Brady or the Pats. Ah, going back. You guys heard, right? <laughs> he just wanted to distract Tom Brady. Mm hmm Well, it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do. Now, he, uh, either he's going to pay a fine of $1,000 or he's going to go to jail. We'll see what happens. Well, I think that's almost it for this uh, CBC News. Funny thing on Snapchat. Use your funny th three things on Snapchat. I'm going to... Boom, shakalaka la.
sir. How high are you? No, officer, you're wrong. It's high. How are you? Pero ve nomás qué preciosura. No mames, quítate la verga. Mi carro está hermoso, me encanta. Aunque está murosa. Ok, that was, that was very, very, very funny, of course. Good news. Uh, one last thing before CBC ends news. Sites like these, don't believe in them. Because I went on one of them. And apparently I was going to get like 500 bucks. It's called Kish, Kid, no. Influencer Club. And guess what happened? They changed it to another name. It's called. I forgot what it's called. But 500. They said I was going to get it by today. But nothing happened. <laughs> That should be it for today's CBC News. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And you have a good time. See you guys on the next one. Peace.